Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. How are you guys doing today? Well, it's a chilly-ish morning today, huh? A little bit. Yeah. It's a little chilly. A little bit chilly. Pretty nice. Well, sitting by the fire. Yeah, it's nice and toasty. Oh. And it looks really cool, too. It looks very realistic for a uh, electric fireplace. Oh. Definitely like this one. Yeah. Yeah, they had so many different ones to choose from when we went to the store, but this is the one that definitely caught my eye. I was like, it looks really pretty and yeah. it's got a mantle and yeah. <laughs> and Gary's specs, he was like, you need one that needs to heat at least a thousand square feet and this one fit the bill, so. Yeah. It was... it says, uh, it said a thousand and one square <laughs> feet or whatever, but it was a uh, 5,100 BTUs. So yeah. that's a pretty good amount of BTUs. Next is the uh, insulation. Yeah. Once we insulate it in here, it will definitely keep it pretty nice. But even without the insulation, it keeps it pretty nice in here. Yeah, we. I mean, we've only had those freezing temperatures um, last week. Yeah. So, I mean, I definitely want to get the insulation done before that's like a normal. Because but, I feel like it, we'd have a really expensive power bill. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this next power bill, bill because of that. Because, yeah. Well, we're going to find night, out. <laughs> last night was 37 degrees outside. Yeah, so it got cold. We got a little chilly last night, um, but this thing kept it pretty nice in here. Yeah, it's maintained staying, yeah. you know, in the 70s inside here in the basement. 74, 75. Since we got the small fan heater going, and now that we have the fireplace and stuff, it's maintaining. Yep. Uh, but it's definitely on the chillier side today. Um, Gary and I have a very busy day planned with some of our, our friends and our family. Yep. Um, I actually, we're going to have to take two separate vehicles this morning as soon as we're done recording this Real Talk. We got to get in the trucks and split. I got to go to town. I got to go to the dentist. And when I'm done with the dentist, then I'm going to be meeting back up with Gary. And Gary is going to be... Over at Come Ons. Yeah. We're going to be giving him a hand today. And uh, I got to take a trip over to town first before I get over there. Stop over at the dump. Throw away all the, all the trash and everything, you know. Yeah. It's, That's been a repetitive story of our life lately. <laughs> yes. But I mean, buying all this stuff, we're left with all these boxes. And plastic. And plastic and yeah. all this other stuff. And I don't really want to burn any of that, especially with how dry it's been out here. And it's like, yeah, no, I, I'm going to just utilize that dump over there and utilize the back of our truck and fill it up with trash and just stop in town every now and then and throw Get it away. Get the heck out of here. But, uh, yeah. yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting. But it's, we're all going to... He's gonna go do that errand, I gotta go do that errand. We're all gonna meet up over at uh, David's house. Come on with the come on. I know Drew with Drew's Lens is gonna be over there as well. Yep. Um, I didn't talk to my brother. So Anthony over at Country Road Cure yesterday, he started feeling sick. We walked the kids down to the bus stop and it was just Roxanne and us and the kids. And I was like, where's Anthony? And Roxanne told us that he wasn't feeling very well. And I was like, dang, that sucks. Well, today he still didn't walk down to the bus stop yet. So I don't know. Roxanne said that she was just letting him sleep, that she didn't try to wake him up yet because of how bad he was feeling. So who knows? He might wake up and he might be feeling 100%. But I know my brother and Anthony usually, when he goes down, it's because he's down. He doesn't usually just call in a sick day unless no. he's really, really sick. And the fact that he wasn't awake this morning and he was still sleeping, I think Anthony's still sick. Um, I have reached out to Roxanne and I told her, you know, while I'm in town, if they need anything or if I can do anything for them, you know, just holler. But Roxanne's taken very good care of Anthony, so yeah. I don't know if Anthony's going to be uh, joining everybody today or not. I would probably lean on the not just because of how poorly he's been feeling. And if he is starting to feel better, he really should probably take it easy yeah. um, because he is coming off of being so sick. And I think it's just a flu. but. Yeah. So send the well wishes to my brother over at Country Road Cure, cause that sucks. No, no one likes being down. Yeah. And it, it's no fun yeah. for anybody. <laughs> so yeah, so we got a very busy day planned over on Come On Mountain. We're gonna be uh, doing some filming over there. I know David's very, very excited for today. He's been looking forward to it and we've been trying to wait for the perfect window of opportunity weather-wise, because as you guys know, this week has been super rainy and just kind of coming out of left field. I think tomorrow we're gonna get rain again, right? Or is it Friday now? Um, I think it was saying tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. It might be uh, Friday, but I don't know. I haven't really looked at it. 
looked at it since like Monday or yesterday or something? I haven't really looked at it other than this morning and I can't remember exactly what it was for tomorrow. I just remember what it, it was for today. And today it was supposed it was to be good. sunny and 78. Oh, so beautiful. All sweet. All right, cool. Today's yeah. going to be beautiful. So nice chilly morning with a beautiful afternoon. Yeah. Perfect. So I like those mornings. I, I, Me I, too. This is the season that I love because it starts off chilly to where it's like, yeah, you can wear a hoodie, you know, and then middle of the day, you're taking off that hoodie and you're like, yeah, no, I'm not wearing it. It's perfect weather outside. Yeah, this is my favorite season. This is my absolute yeah. favorite season out of the whole year. Fall is my favorite. Um, the colors outside with all the trees, you know, leaves changing, the temperatures are perfect. The and food. it's Yeah, I was going to say, it's like <laughs> right in the beginning of all of the, the holidays, you know, food, for us. the family, the... Yeah. Just all. It's my favorite season. Uh, favorite, favorite. No. I can't wait. I'm going to be doing some baking and stuff here. I'm going to be practicing making some pumpkin pie and cobblers and... Ooh, I know, I'm going to... Cobbler. Apple cobbler, yeah, peach cobbler. I'm gonna start my my baking here really really soon. I know that the kids wanted to get some uh, some baking done, so I might be working on some of that this weekend. We, time will tell. We will we will see. <laughs> but I can't wait. I know that for like Thanksgiving and stuff, I'm already starting to compile my my list of things. Your list of stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. And, and the yes. kids are super excited. Halloween's coming up. So the kids mostly right now are kind of focusing on Halloween, the Halloween coming up. And this week at school has been spirit week for the kids. So yesterday was pajama day. Today is wear your favorite hat day or no, no. Yesterday was red day. Monday was pajama mm -hmm. day. Today is wear your favorite hat day. I forget what tomorrow is, but tomorrow and Friday, I think Friday is like school colors day. Man, Abraham left his hat today too. <laughs> we get all the way down to the bus stop and then he realizes he's all, I forgot my hat. Yeah, and he immediately and sunk, right? He was like, oh, I forgot. Oh, like, oh, he's so sad. Goodness. And he, he wanted to wear Come On's hat. Yeah, he's wearing Come he's On's like, hat today. He's like, but, but I wanted to wear Uncle David's hat. And yeah. I was just like, son of a gun. All right, yeah. dude, I'm like, I'm going to run. And I hope we make it in time for the bus and everything. So I I ran yeah. back. and I <laughs> Ran up that oh hill. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> uh, ran all the way home, grabbed his hat, ran all the way back there. The bus was there. He was, John was thankful. And like, I love John. He, he was sitting there waiting for us and whatnot. And. I hope it was quick. I don't know. You, we, he wasn't waiting for long. He okay. was waiting for like maybe a minute. And I was just sitting there making small talk with him. And he was fine. Yeah, he okay. didn't care. He, John didn't care at all. But yeah, no. I got there and A was super like, oh, thank you, Dad. Yeah, he was. Ran he, off. <laughs> ran he went on the from bus. like sinking and feeling <laughs> like, oh, you know, to like, yay, you're the best dad ever. And uh, it was really cute. And so David, he is what he's wearing a. Uncle Come On's hat today. He's nope. out there showing off to all the kids, and this is my favorite hat. This is my cool hat, and Scarlett's wearing our hat, and Julia uh, is wearing a, a very loud and proud hat as well. So they're nice. all wearing good hats, and they're yep. all part of Spirit Week. It's good, good, good stuff. No. Nope. So uh, today is going to be a very good day, friends. Um, we're going to help out David. We're going to get to hang out with Drew. Drew's over there hang, ha helping and hanging out with David. Uh, we're going to get a lot of work done over there for him and with him. And then I know that um, tomorrow you said you wanted to start, if as long as it's not raining, because we're not expecting the rain until tomorrow night, we were going to yes. start working on the well house again and finish, finishing it off. Finish that up, and then yeah. we can uh, go start working on the filters, get that squared away yeah. for the pad-wise, mm -hmm. and uh, start doing little things here and there. Yep, we got some other stuff we got to start wrapping up, but... How about that premiere party last night, guys? That was a lot of fun. Oh, super fun. Um, I'm so happy that uh, It's All Grady, Denise and Marcel, they were able to do their very first live stream ever. And y'all killed it. You guys did a great job. I know the feeling of being nervous, and I know the feeling of, like, just all of that, ah, you know. Um, but you guys did a really great job, and you guys, y'all killed it. I want to thank Denise and Marcel again for coming out and for helping us with the well house and getting it all in tip top shape like we have it right now and um, giving us an opportunity to share some of our knowledge and teach, you know, because that always feels good. Yes. Like that always feels good that 
hey, we got we can we can help somebody out. You know, we love doing that. It's yeah. a very big community, and we love being a part of it and helping any way that we can. So yeah. But that premiere video, that video I put out yesterday, um, it was so long. We were, I was talking to you guys about it for a little while, how like I tried to trim the fat and like trim out, you know, the repetitive stuff, which I think I did a good job of doing. Uh, but it's still because of the there's fact a, that we were trying to keep it educational. It, that's why it stayed. There's a lot of information in there. Yes, yeah, so much information. But so if you want to be a block layer, <laughs> and you want to learn like where do I start? How do I get? What do I do? That's a great video for you guys. Nope. Um, and if you don't want to be a block layer, but you just want to see the camaraderie or whatever, or just how we spent our time with the Grady's, go and check that video out. Heck yeah. yeah it's, it's a longer one, I will say. It is a longer one. But it's a good one. And, you know, there's a fun feature. We sound like chipmunks when you do it. But on the bottom, you can actually change the playback speed to any of the videos to one and a half time, two times, you know, so you can actually get it watched faster. Uh, but it does definitely does make us sound like chipmunks because it like, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> yeah. I'll do that sometimes when I'm listening to a to news or po or a podcast and stuff, you know. And I'm like, I just want the information really fast. I'll put it on two times speed just so I can uh, get it quicker. But then when I'm taking my leisurely time and really enjoying, you know, what I'm watching or whatever, then I'll just have it on normal. But there is that option for you guys. I probably so. don't ever do that option, but yeah, well. I do. I do. Um, if I take the time to click on a something to watch and I watch it yeah but that's just me I don't know everybody's different different strokes different folks mm-hmm so. but uh it's getting to that time it is it's getting um, to be we're about gonna that have time to, we're gonna have to run and start getting our errands running and going so yeah we got a busy busy day today lending a helping hand mm -hmm. and uh, hanging out with some friends and stuff and we are on a time schedule because um we got to get back bef you know right around and before the kids come home from school, especially because Anthony's not feeling that good, I don't want to have Roxanne uh, be having to deal with. All, like normally, it's not a big deal. Um, if I don't want to put that stress on uh, Roxanne or Anthony, right? Like with Anthony being down. Exactly, it's not so. a big deal. Like if we're we have Rox or Ant, like you know, if we're gone at the store or something, and the kids come home from school and the bus gets off, it's not a big deal to have the kids go over to Auntie and Uncle's. Yep. And vice versa, like if Anthony and Roxanne are out in town and or whatever. And spend that extra little bit and they're like, we're not going to make it. Yeah, you guys want to get Wyatt off the bus? It's not a big deal. It's, no. That's part, that's of, the, part of the whole thing. And that's the blessing what makes of it living together. Super nice. Yeah. And uh, everything. But. but today I definitely don't want to leave that stress on them. Like if it gets hairy and it gets to a point where we're not they done, can, then yeah. you are going to stay with David and Drew yeah. and them. And I am going to leave. I think that will be fine on time wise honestly for what we're doing but i think so too but we'll see i mean you never know man with what we're doing it can go sideways and i i don't wish that on no. david <laughs> we are going to do everything in our power to not everything. let it go sideways man we are going to be working our booties off we will hopefully it won't go sideways it shouldn't it shouldn't he set yeah. up, he did all the prep work, it's he perfect. Did, he did all the prep work and everything else and what I was talking to him, he said he might do, a, add a little thing here or there and then we'll, you know, but I'll, I want to get there so I can help him with that. Yep. And make it to where it's not as stressful. Yep. Because he's got limited time. Yep. And I understand yeah. that stress. We've been in that hot seat <laughs> I've been before. in that hot seat of like, oh crap. So, yeah. Yeah. but he set himself up so he's not having that oh crap you know yeah so and i think nice. between you and drew and david um you guys are going to be able to do a lot i'm going to be there and i'm going to be helping you guys too yes. but i know that i'm also going to be helping y'all a lot with um cameras as well because we're all vloggers yeah. <laughs> and some you can't be uh down on your hands and knees doing stuff and also trying to worry about cameras and angles and stuff so i'm going to be getting my hands dirty but i'm also going to be the squirrel running around, yeah. you know, yep. paparazzi and but we got to get this day rolling. Yeah, it's about that time. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Yep. And uh, oh, announcements. I always like to do the, the goodbye oh. announcements. 
So um, we do have that video that was posted yesterday. Sorry, Gary. We do have that video that was posted yesterday. We did a premiere party. If you guys haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. It is on our main channel, Simple Life Reclaimed. I am going to have a new video for you guys tomorrow. It is not going to be including what we're doing uh, today. We're actually, I'm not going to get to this footage until later. I already have some stuff in the can for you guys. And it's going to be, uh, you guys are going to be seeing more of like, fireplace and you guys are gonna be seeing more of what we've been up to uh, around in here during those rainy days and stuff so yes. stick out for that one I got to finish editing it off but it should be up on our channel tomorrow for you guys the main channel so keep your eyes and peeled for that and uh, other than that the last notification will be that we'll see you back here on Real Talk with SLR tomorrow morning so until then guys we love y'all and we hope you have a good one and we'll catch you on the next one you guys bye you guys later later ah.